So now I've been dancing on TikTok a little bit and making the light here to make it a little bit nice <laughs> and a little bit dark now because I want to like make it a bit like mystic, you know, mysteric girl, you know, try to be a little mysteric girl, yeah. Put on the light now. <laughs> it's nothing the mystery, she just haven't figured out herself. <laughs> I'm joking, but do you sometimes feel that that life going very fast and slow in the same time, you know? I feel like that lately. This is some days just whew, other days like whoa, 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 whoa. It's so slow and so boring, you know. And I was thinking that hmm, we need to do something. And then I realized if I can be slow, like calm down, you know, in every moment, even when I get like whoa, you know, calm down, go to the present moment, give some time to yourself to have doing nothing. You know, just to be in, in quiet and doing absolute nothing. No plan, nothing. Just you and God in the moment and writing the Bible have helped me so much to just be calm and write my Bible. Because I feel that then I finally get energy again. So I'm doing that lately and it's really make me feel better. Every morning I read and I feel amazing. And that's something you should think about. Do something that will make you feel amazing. And today I was going to the pool in the gym and I didn't want to, to be honest. And my plan was to go because it's standing in my plan. But it was not when it came to the day and I was like, my house was like, Wee you know, <laughs> you know. This was not nice. <laughs> so, yo, yo, Lisa, we need to cancel the gym and the pool today, you know? Because we need to go clean the house deep. Because <laughs> we cannot live like that. But then I said to myself, we don't have to cancel. We can just reschedule to later on the day. Three hours. Like, two o'clock, not ten, you know? Something like that. And then I cleaned and then my, I didn't get excited, you know, then I was like, okay, I have some hours to do the cleaning and then I can find enjoying what I love. And just because I give me self something to look forward for, it was much fun <laughs> to clean and do all of these things because then I knew that I, in the end I'm going to get something nice, you know. So because I gave me myself that promise. I felt it like, you know what, I can, I can do that. But if I just didn't take, give myself like a treat, if you call it, I wouldn't done it, you know, that good. Because then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be here all day. Then I use my time and watch TV something, you know. But then that made me think about something, that we are like this. If you know that you're gonna get something good in the end, you will do it. <laughs> So, if it's something you want to start doing, for example, making videos, just have in your mind that in the end something good will happen through your videos, something good will happen while you're making the video. You know, it doesn't always need to be about the views, the likes, it can be about you feeling better about yourself because you grab the camera and you make the video. And, uh, and then after you finish making it, you was like, good job. <laughs> Amazing job, Lisa, or your name, you know, saying that I felt it like I did something meaningful today. Like I felt that I make, I help somebody out there, maybe. Like lately, I've been trying to be more positive, and I always like be positive, but like more positive, <laughs> giving compliment to stranger. Like one lady that working like cleaning in the gym, I said, "How oh, you doing? A great job. Keep up the job." And she get like. <laughs> Sweet lady, but you don't have to be embarrassing. Embarrassed, she's doing a great job. You have to hear it. That's how it is. Point is the story is that just go out and give positive energy, give a positive thing to people, give love to people. You know, they need it more than ever these times. So don't be selfish with your love, <laughs> give it, be kind, and help out people. But it was something happened with me while I've been too kind, you know. It's, so old man 
and uh, he wanted now my number and then I have to say no and then let's get a bit awkward because I don't know if he wanted my number just to be a friend with me or he wanted something more I don't know I never gonna know <laughs> but that happened and then I was like dang it can I be nice all the time you know but I think it's uh, important to be kind and sweet while you say no to people if it's a guy or a girl you know if it's a girl trying on you and you don't want to then it's okay you know to be like yeah that's the reality you know not every time you can make everybody happy <laughs> because if you're in a relationship like I am if you're gonna go out and make every man happy and he's like a horror he itself but like listen up if you're gonna make every guy happy then you're hurting the man you love so that is something to think about if you have a woman you can't make other women happy like giving their like giving numbers to their girl the girl that asking to not make her feel horrible that's the same thank you for listening today and talk to the next time